Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Laura, roll over. You're snoring so loud. Huh? What? Uh, sorry. Laura, seriously, why are you snoring so loud? Ugh, I never met a girl who could snore as loud as you can. Uh, sorry. Ugh, my stomach is just really hurting. Oh, you probably have to fart. Just go back to sleep. Oh, I think I have to go to the bathroom. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I hope you're going to be okay. Thanks, Dan. Ugh. Ugh, I'm definitely going to throw up. Oh. Oh, gross. I hate throwing up. Oh, I don't feel so good. Laura, are you okay in there? Are you throwing up? Oh, she definitely got the stomach bug. Gross. Laura, it's okay. I'll bring you the Pepto Bismol. Poor thing. Aw, I'll be right there. I mixed it with some ice cream so it tastes better because Pepto Bismol tastes awful. Laura, can I come in? Okay, you didn't answer. Here I come. <laughs> Laura? Oh my gosh, what happened? Laura? Are you alive? Ah! Uh... Okay, yeah, she's alive. She's moaning. Oh my gosh, she fainted. Okay, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? My wife, she was puking a lot, and I went to make her an ice cream Pepto-Bismol smoothie, and when I came back, she was laying on the floor. She had passed out. I thought she was dead, but no, she moaned, so she's not dead. Okay, first of all, you should never feed someone ice cream and Pepto-Bismol when they don't feel good. Okay, yeah, but who cares about that? Second of all, I have dispatched a ambulance to your house. We know exactly where your cell phone location is. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? Technology. Are you going to be here soon? I'm really worried. Yes, we'll be there soon. Laura, everything's going to be okay, I promise. The paramedics are on their way. Uh, 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 I think she may have thrown up way too many times. I'm not really sure, though, what's going on. I hope she doesn't die. I love her a whole lot. Except for when she snores so bad in bed. Okay, sir. Everything's going to be fine. Hello, paramedic! Oh my gosh, you guys got here so quick! Oh my, okay, let's see what the trouble is. Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am? Oh, I can hear you. My stomach just hurts and then I got really dizzy. Oh wow, ma'am, well I'm gonna put you on the stretcher and take you in the ambulance to the hospital, okay? Do you remember your name? Yeah, it's Laura. Okay, Laura, everything's gonna be okay. All right, sir. Uh, you might want to get off the stretcher. Sorry, I'm just really nervous and kind of tired. I'll go out here and wait. Dan, why are you getting on my stretcher? Sorry. <laughs> Oops. All right, Laura, I'm just going to put you on the stretcher now. Everything's going to be okay. You're the nicest paramedic ever. Thank you so much. No problem, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Let's go get you into the ambulance. Would you like to come along, husband? Absolutely. Uh, I'll even go in my pajamas. I don't care. I don't know what happened. I, I was fine. I was sleeping and my husband woke me up and said, you're snoring too loud. And my stomach got upset and I ran into the bathroom to throw up and I fainted. It's okay, ma'am. We're going to take you to the hospital and they'll find out what's going on. We, we didn't pick up my husband. He'll have to meet us there. This is an emergency. Laura, are you still with me? Yeah, I'm just feeling really faint again. Oh, and my stomach really hurts. It's going to be okay, honey. I'm going to take good care of you. Come on. Let's get you, get you into a room so a doctor can see you. Hi there, Laura, is it? Yeah, I, I, I don't feel very good. Well, I'm Dr. Nickenbacher, and I will be taking care of you today. I just want my husband. Is he here yet? 
Uh, he should be on his way. I'm right here, honey. Sorry, you guys left without me. I just had to get my slippers. I came as soon as I could. I ran the whole way. You didn't take the car? Well, I mean, I ran to the car, and then I ran from the car to the emergency room door. That's what I bet. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to run all the way to the hospital. You know that. Yeah, I know. Oh, my stomach. Well, the first thing I think we should do with your wife is get an x-ray of her entire body because we have no idea what's going on most especially her brain and her stomach since she fainted and her stomach hurts that sounds like a good plan i'm so worried about her all right i'll send in a stretcher for you and i'll meet you in the x-ray room oh this won't hurt will it no x-rays are painless although they can be a little noisy how long will this take um, well, if I don't hit myself at the door, <laughs> about till right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, wow. Um, that's an interesting find. What? What is it? Am I dying? I'm gonna send in the nurse to bring you back on the stretcher, and we'll have this conversation with your husband. Really? Really? I'm gonna die, aren't I? That's why he needs to be there. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'll see you back in your room, Laura. What is it? What's happening? Let's wait for your wife to get back. This is the type of news I want to tell you together. Oh my god, she's dying! I knew it! Just calm down, Mr. Smith. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I reviewed your wife's x-rays, and this is going to come as a bit of a shock to you. I knew it! She's dying! I don't know how I'll ever say goodbye to you, Dan. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Dramatic, she's not dying. She's actually, well... Pregnant. Wait, what? Pregnant? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! This is a little shocking and crazy. Yeah, and the crazy part is, is you guys are having, um, triplets. Triplets? What? Oh. Mr. Smith? Now you're the one that fainted. Mr. Smith, are you okay? Okay. I just need a minute here on the floor to just catch my breath. Okay. Are you okay, Mrs. Smith? I... I can't believe it. Pregnant with triplets? When... When am I due? When am I going to have my baby? Babies! <laughs> I mean, I still have to have, like, a baby shower and get cribs and... Well, that's just the thing. I've never seen this before in my career as a doctor, but... You're going to give birth any minute. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just going to stay down here on the floor because I can't move. I... Ah. Dan, I need your support. I can't believe it. I'm going to... Ah, my stomach hurts. Ah. Okay, honey. We got this. I mean, right? We do have this, right? You guys totally got it. Let me go put my iPad down. Sounds like I'm going to deliver three little babies. I've never seen this in my career before. This is going to be crazy. All right, let me change into my scrubs. What an amazing day this is going to be. Okay, let's do this. Wait, you you already had one of the babies? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Oh, you didn't wait for me. Oh, I wanted to deliver the baby. Okay, well, she had one. What do you want me to say? Oh, but here comes another. Here, Dan, hold the first baby. What am I supposed to do with it? Just be nice to her while I deliver baby number two. Okay, Laura, deep breath. Doctor, why are you laying down? Sorry, it's been a long shift. I didn't mean to lay down. Are you sleeping standing up? I don't know if I really am okay with you delivering these babies right now. You're being a little crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just lay down for a minute. Okay, I'm good. I took a one-minute nap, so I'm fine. All right, let's deliver that second baby. Great job, Laura. She's beautiful. Okay, choose enough. We don't need the third one. She, can, she doesn't have to come. She can stay. Sorry, that's not the way it works, Mr. Smith. You're having three babies. Oh, she's adorable. Hi, sweet little girl. I know. Mine's adorable, too. They're both adorable, and we still have one more! I'm gonna be poor. I'm totally gonna be poor. Three girls? Trips to the malls? Oh my gosh, I'm done for. Hi, Dr. Nickenbacker. What can I do for you? Whoa! You have twins? No, identical triplets. 
Oh my gosh! Okay, take the second baby because Laura's about to have the third. Okay, no problem. All right, Laura, deep breath. Are you seriously laying down again? Sorry, I'm just really tired. This is like a lot of excitement. I am a really good doctor though, I promise. Well then stand up and help me give birth to this baby. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. All right, you're doing great, Laura. Oh my gosh, honey. You had three babies. Get out of my bed, Dr. Knickerbocker. <sighs> okay, well, my shift's just about over, and these babies look adorable and healthy. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Today has been the craziest day of my entire existence. Tell me about it, but look at our adorable babies. Oh, so sweet. Now all we have to decide is what we're going to name them. Hey guys, if you have names that would be perfect for our trip list, let us know in the comment section below because Laura and I have to come up with three adorable names for our sweet little girls. And we want to know what you guys would name your triplets. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye guys. Oh, it's been such a long day. But look at the beautiful babies I got out of it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, class, as you know, tomorrow we're going to be off for winter break. I know you're all excited, but I do have a project that you're each supposed to complete over winter break. Molly, why don't you go ahead and read the quote on the board, please? Molly? Molly? <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh? What? I was awake the whole time. I wasn't sleeping. Then what's that little bit of drool on your face for, Molly? <laughs> Nothing! Don't listen to Brookie. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Molly, please read the quote on the board. Okay, um, you'll never get bored when you try something new. There's really no limit to what you can do. That's right, guys. So during your winter break, I've decided that you each are going to do an internship with a business in Brookhaven. Whoa, that sounds amazing. That sounds like it'll interrupt my snack time, movie time, and nap time. Well, Marty, if you're being lazy, but think of the opportunities we could learn. We could learn to be, I don't know, baristas at the Starbucks or um, doctors at the hospital. Wow, that would be cool. There are so many opportunities. I have them all listed here on this printout. You guys decide which internship you would like to be a part of. Huh, none of these look interesting to me at all. I really would rather sit at home and just like chill out. Wait a minute, police officer? Okay, Mrs. Smith, I know what I wanna do. Oh, wow, Molly. First one in the class, that's amazing. What is it you would like to do for your internship over on um, winter break? I want to work at the police station. Yes! Whoa, that sounds amazing. I want to do that too. Can both of us do that? Of course you can. What about you, Daisy? I'm going to work at the bank because, you know, I'm going to be a billionaire someday. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a good one, Daisy. Sure you are. I am, Molly. Okay, sisters, no fighting. So I expect you to come back from winter break with a report on how your internship went. Well, we've got to go. Make sure you report for your internships tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Oh, no school for a whole week. I can smell the freedom now. So Molly, I'll meet you tomorrow at the police station. You betcha, Brookie. This ought to be an interesting job. Hey guys, wait for me. I'm gonna work at the bank. I'm gonna learn how money works. This is how it works. You have none, and so you can't buy anything. Right now I can't, but eventually I will. Uh-huh, sure you will. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Molly, I live with you. Oh, yeah. Ugh, I'll see you in 10 minutes, Daisy. Ugh, why do I have to live with her? Because I'm your sister, duh. Oh, yeah, don't remind me. Hi there. What, what, what? How did one of the prisoners escape? <laughs> I'm not a prisoner. Then why are you wearing that? 
I'm gonna have to tase you and put you back in your cell. Wait, no, wait, don't tase me. Seriously, don't tase me. I, I got this from Spirit Halloween. Hold still while I tase you. Ow, that really hurt. Why'd you do that? Because you're a criminal and you're supposed to be in your jail cell. Now get up and let's go. I would if you hadn't tased me. Oh, I don't think I can move. Also, <laughs> ew, did you just fart? Well, when you taste somebody, you know, sometimes, um, well, you see what happens. Oh my gosh, Molly, are you okay? Oh, hi, intern. What's your name again? Brookie. Um, what's going on here? You know this criminal's name? Are you guys related or something? No, that's my friend. You're friends with a criminal? I think that might be a bad idea. No, she's not a criminal. She's wearing her orange jumpsuit. Ah, oh, she's just a jokester. Molly. Sorry, I thought it would be funny. I got this from Spirit Halloween. Wait a minute. Are you my other intern? Yeah, name's Molly. Ugh, oh, you're getting off to a great start. I know. Can somebody help me up? Sure, Molly. You might want to take this a bit more seriously, though. It's for our grade. Wait a minute, we're being graded? That's right. Depending on what, how you do here at your internship will be what I tell your teacher. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, come on. I'll give you a tour around the police station. This is where all of the paperwork is done. And we get any calls that we need to go on for, you know, criminals or thieves or... Wow, interesting. How often does that happen? Not a lot. Brookhaven is pretty safe. Um, back there is also the jail cells. Whoa, this is so cool. I'm going to look. You almost ended up in one, Molly. Like guacamole. They get a sink, a toilet, uh, and a bunk bed. That seems pretty amazing. <laughs> Haha, Molly. Hey, let me out of here. You do the crime, you do the time. Girls, stop goofing around. Come on. Sorry, <laughs> she is wearing that outfit. Yes, please change out of that right away, Molly. I don't want people to confuse you for a criminal. Okay, fine. How's this? Um, you're wearing the same uniform as me. That is not the intern uniform. Okay, uh, intern uniform. How about this? Molly, you're not a member of the FBI. Okay, how about this? Perfect, cadet. All right, now over here, I'm going over to see what's in here. Ooh, the break room. Wait, where's all the donuts? You're a cop, where's all the donuts? Um, I haven't picked them up yet. Oh wow, look at you can go out here to the yard. This is where criminals get to have fresh air. Whoa, they even got a basketball hoop. No talking, whoa, strict. Absolutely, everything's under video surveillance. All right, girls, I need to go over to the diner and um, get some donuts. Stay out of my office. Is this your office? Yes, it is. And I've left some paperwork for you guys to do. Oh, paperwork? All right, let's see what it's about. A cat up a tree? Yes, being an intern isn't really like being a cop, okay? You have to do all the boring stuff I don't wanna do while I drink a coffee and eat a donut at the diner. Be good, girls! Oh, this is so boring, Brookie. Well, it is for our grade, so I think we should just kind of go along with whatever the cop wants. You don't want her to arrest us. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Molly, where are you going? I'm going up to look at the chopper. <laughs> Whoa, this is amazing. Molly, what are you doing right now? Molly, come down from there. Molly. <laughs> Looks like I'm about to take off. Now, how do I make this thing go? Hmm, I don't even know how to work it. Molly, what? You're taking off upside down. What are you doing? I don't know how to run this thing. Okay, this may have been a bad idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Molly, just go forward. Okay, I'm trying. Uh-oh, here we go. Whoa, cool. Molly, don't crash it. You're gonna end up in jail. Me crash it? Nah, never. Whoa, what's going on? I'm losing speed! Molly? Molly, are you okay? Not really! I'm doing loop-to-loops! Brookie, help! Molly, I can't help you! Molly? Molly! 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 Oh my gosh, I can't believe you crashed! Molly! Say something! Molly? Are you alive? Uh, I can't move any part of my body! Everything is hurting! Oh my gosh, Molly. Oh no, I think you broke at least some of your bones. 
This is Brookie. This is intern Brookie. I'm gonna need an ambulance here out in front of the police station. Stat! Oh no, don't tell anybody! We're gonna get grounded! Grounded? Being grounded is the least of your worries, Molly. Going to prison or 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 worse is is the is the worst part of it. Or if you've broken your bones. <sighs> Hurry up on that ambulance! Hurry up! I think this is where we say goodbye, Brookie. I think this is where we say goodbye. Molly, don't you give up on me! Don't you give up! Molly, hold on! The doctor's coming! Oh, wow. This doesn't look good at all. Let me see your front. Oh, yeah, she's dead. What? No, she's not! Check her vitals! Uh, she looks pretty dead to me. She's not dead! Uh, see? She's moaning! Are you even a doctor? Uh, yeah, but I'm just interning for the summer. Oh, MG, help my friend! Okay, we need to get over to X-ray. Stat! Come on, um... I'll, well, actually, you can't walk, can you? <laughs> Silly me. Oh, world's worst doctor. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll get her a stretcher and we'll bring her right in. Okay, thank you. Here you go. Get on the stretcher. Ow! Ow! All right. Now we're going to go over to x-ray. This may hurt a little bit because we have to move your body onto the x-ray machine. Oh, ow! 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 Okay, here we go. We're x-raying you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Seems like she's broken her neck. What? My mom always warned me about that. Don't do that, Molly. You're going to break your neck. And now I actually did? Yeah, but it looks like you also broke your hip and your arm. Oh no, this is terrible. Doctor, how is she? She broke lots of things. Her neck, her arm, and what was the other one? Oh yeah, her hip. Oh my gosh, Molly. Don't worry, I'll have her patched up in no time. She doesn't need surgery? No, nope, sir, no surgery, but she's going to have to spend winter break, well, in bed. What? No, I've got to be a police officer. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's get you patched up. There, that should do it. Hi, I feel like a dog. I can't even see anything. Uh, yeah, and also you can't lick your wounds like a dog. Why would I do that? It looks like the sergeant from the, the police station is coming. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Good morning. I'm here to talk to Molly. I don't know who Molly is. Molly's not here. Uh, Molly is right there in the bed. <laughs> she may have a concussion. No, I don't. I just don't want him to know who I am. Okay, okay. Enough, girls. I have in my report here that you were on an internship. You decided to fly the chopper. Is that correct? I uh, know. I don't know what you're talking about. You really need to be honest with me here, Molly. Okay, yeah, I did it. How much do I owe you? Each chopper's almost a million dollars. A million dollars, Molly! Well, no, no problem, no problem, because my sister got her internship at the bank, and she said she's gonna be rich, so she'll take care of this for me. Okay, where could I find your sister? Um, go down to the local Brookhaven bank. She'll pay you, I'm sure. Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah, Daisy makes lots of money now. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, and I think it goes without saying, you're fired. I got fired from an internship. Harsh. <laughs> These America's Funniest Videos are so funny! Molly, I think that's kind of the point, is that they're supposed to be funny. Yeah, but sometimes I watch shows and I'm like, this isn't even funny. But this one is totally funny. Hey, Brookie, you want some popcorn? Really? You'd share your popcorn with me? You never share your snacks with anyone. Yeah, I'm kind of a pig when it comes to eating snacks. But you're my best friend, and so I'll share the popcorn with you. I don't mind. Wow, Molly. <laughs> I can't believe how long we've been best friends. I know, right? We've been BFF since, uh, uh, since preschool. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brookie. What's your name? <laughs> Are you in time out? No. Then what's the problem? Aren't you having fun? No, I'm not having fun. I miss my mommy. I want to go home. Oh, well, I'm not your mommy, but my name's Pookie. What's your name? My name's Molly. Hi, Molly. Maybe we could be each other's friends and we could have fun at daycare together. I want to have fun with anyone. I want my mommy. 
I'll give you a hug if it makes you feel better. Really? You will? You're not my mommy! Yeah, but I could be your best friend. Here, you could also have this hippo. You could hug him too and make you feel better. Aww, it does make me feel a little better. My name's Molly, if I didn't tell you already. I'm, I'm Rookie, like I said, and I think we could be really good friends if you want. I want to be your friend, because you seem really nice. You seem sad, but I bet you're really nice too. Yeah, I, I'm nice. We could be best friends so we're old. Whoa, old is a long way away. Yeah, but we should be best friends until then. I agree. We could be best friends through all of school. And we could have adventures together. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do you want to go home anymore? Nah, I want to stay here with my best friend. Aww, that's sweet. Wow, we really have been friends forever. Yeah, almost close to forever. Hey, I've got to tell you something, Brookie. What is it, Molly? Well, I actually have to show you something. Stay here. I'll be right back. She's going to be so surprised when she sees this. <laughs> I bet she's totally forgotten about it. Now, where is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Her cute little hippo that she gave me way back in preschool. Come on, elevator. There, it wasn't working. What is it? <gasps> My hippo! You still have it all these years later? Yeah, I think it's time to return it to its owner. It's given me a lot of comfort over the years. Oh, hi, hippo! Oh, I love my hippo! I totally forgot that you had it all these years. Yeah, I got it from my BFF, so I kept hippo nice and safe. Aw, Molly, this is so sweet. Thanks for inviting me over today, bestie. No problem, Brookie. Anytime. Well, I better get home. I've got a lot of homework to do. Ugh, boring. See you later, Molly. Bye, Brookie. Brookie is such a cool girl. I'm so glad she's my bestie. Ah, I should probably get some fresh air. <laughs> Maybe ride my bike or something. Whoa! Someone's moving into that giant mansion next door. Like, seriously, it's a mansion. Whoever lives there must be rich. I should probably go say hi. Moving you in. <laughs> Knock, knock. Anybody home? Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody home? Oh, hi. You must be one of the new neighbors. I'm Brittany. Can I come in? Sure. Just push the door open. My hands are a little full right now. Hi, I'm Molly. Where'd you go? Sorry, I just have to go back down to the moving truck. I'll be right there. <laughs> Literally looked like she flew to the moving truck. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Wow. Your house is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> My parents have a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's the school like here? Oh, I think you'll like Brookhaven High. It's pretty nice. Cool. So, uh, you want to hang out? Aren't you busy? Nah, this can wait. And besides, our butler can help me. Your butler? Holy guacamole. Are you a Billie Eilish fan? Totally. I love her music. You should see me in a crown. Ooh, I love that song. Um, so you want a snack? Ha 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 ha! Thought you'd never ask. Come on. We have tons of stuff in our fridge. Tons of treats and stuff. Ooh, treats. You're speaking my language. So what do you want? Ice cream, pizza, Reese's, uh, anything you want. Ooh, double scoop of ice cream. Mmm, pretty. This is delicious. It's gourmet. Our chef makes it at home with an amazing hand-turned ice cream machine. Whoa, that sounds fancy. Wait a minute. Did you just say you have a chef? Yeah, we can call on our chef anytime to make us anything we want. Holy guacamole, you live a really charmed life. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, but most important thing are my favorite people. Really? Could I be one of your favorite people? It seems like you could. You seem really cool, Molly. And since we're neighbors, we should probably be BFFs. Don't you have a BFF from your old town? No, I was, well, not very popular at my old school. Really? But you're really funny and nice and, well, you seem super cool. Yeah, I don't know. My old school was kind of lame. <sighs> my parents had to pay a million dollars for me to go there a year. Whoa, holy guacamole! 
Yeah, but I think it was a waste of their money. I'd rather go to public school because people there just seemed so rude to me. Wow, mm, this ice cream's great. Wanna see my room? Well, <laughs> it's totally not completely unpacked yet, but you can see it if you want. Yeah, I'd love to. Wow, her room is probably amazing. Come on, let's go up the elevator. Well, here it is. Holy guacamole! It's like you've got a New York City style loft apartment up here. Is this your own bathroom? Yeah, that's pretty posh, right? Totally. Brittany, I was thinking maybe we should be BFFs. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sorry, I've got to take this. Hello? Hey, Molly. <laughs> I came home and did my homework, and I thought maybe we could hang out again because we're BFFs. Um, sorry, Brookie. I'm busy. Busy? I could help you with your, like, chores or anything. I don't mind. I mean, you shared your popcorn with me. Molly, who is that? Come on. Don't you want to spend time with me? Um, Brookie, I'm here with my BFF right now. I can't talk. What? I'm your BFF. What are you talking about? No, um, I'm sorry, but you can just be my regular friend because... Uh, my next door neighbor, Brittany, is really cool, and I've decided she's my BFF. Are you serious, Molly? We've been best friends since preschool. What are you talking about? Um, I'm really sorry, but the phone's breaking up. C -c -c Can't hear you. Molly, I know you're making those crackly sounds. I'm coming over. No, don't do it. Okay, okay, she hung up on me. Who was that? Who was my ex-BFF? Wait a minute, you had a best friend before me? Uh, yeah, but she means nothing to me. You're everything, Brittany. You're everything. Seriously? The only fun thing you could find to do with your new BFF is hang out in the bathroom? What, do you have to fart or something? Whoa, Brookie, what's going on with your face? Uh, Molly, that's the look of jealousy. Are you jealous that we are BFFs and you're no longer her BFF? Yeah, I am, because Molly's been my BFF since preschool, and we're best friends. Um, okay, I can see you guys are gonna fight over me now, right? Well, I'm not gonna fight because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna challenge you to a competition to see who her best friend really is. Oh, okay, um, well, how about a dance competition? Good, fine, let's do it. Maybe we should come out of the bathroom, though. <laughs> There's a lot more space out here, guys. All right, um, I guess let the dance competition begin. Oh, yeah? You think that's a good dance move? I don't think so, Brittany. I can do that in a heartbeat. Wow, you guys are really going to fight over me. I'm not sure if I should be afraid or flattered. Watch this dance move, but you can't do this. Oh, yeah? I totally can do that. dance all day yeah until one of us drops over guys stop 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 this is insanity look I, I, I want you to both be my friends molly are you serious we just had a flashback together at the beginning of this video yeah that was pretty special that's because we've been friends forever best friends are built on years of getting to know one another being there for one another. You've known this girl for five seconds! Okay, I guess you're right. I, I got a little starry-eyed about all the snacks at her house. Oh, Molly, you're always thinking about your stomach. Wait a minute, are you saying that Molly only likes me because I have snacks? No, Brittany, I'm saying that I know Molly enough to know that sometimes her stomach thinks more than her brain. OMG, you do know me the best, you do! I do. Look, Brittany, Brookie is my best friend, but I want you to be my friend. And maybe over time, you both can be my BFFs. But best friends takes time. I understand, Molly, and I still want to be your friend. And maybe, Brookie, if you don't hate me too much, we could be friends too. Oh, I don't know about that, Brittany. Come on, Brookie. I know you. You're a kind person. Let Brittany into your heart. Yeah, I guess. But don't try to steal my best friend again! Whoa! <laughs> Don't mess with Brookie. <laughs> you guys, we could have so much fun today. There's a lot of snacks here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's go eat some. Hey guys, we're 
about to show you another awesome episode in Brookhaven. But first, I wanted to show you guys this funny, crazy, ridiculous ad on the side of my screen. Do you guys get these too when you're trying to play Roblox? It says, use code CHRISTMAS. And she said, yeah, but sit down and stop farting. <laughs> okay, I just thought that was hilarious. And now, back to your Brookhaven episode. Whoa, look at that. There's, there's a, there's a, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. It's, 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 it's Santa. Well, actually, Santa's not here. It's just Santa's sleigh. But, guys, I think we could actually take a ride in this. And it looks amazing. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm sitting in Santa's sleigh. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sort of sitting underneath his sleigh. Molly, would you hurry up? You're gonna be late for school. Blah, blah, blah. Where is Daisy anyway? I'm right here. And I get to fly if we're gonna be late for school. Okay, fine. Let's do this. OMG! Guys, this is so amazing. If you haven't um, been in Brookhaven for Christmas yet, you totally should. You get to go on a sleigh ride. Where's Santa, by the way? I don't know, but we might have to deliver all his presents for him. Um, can I look at my present? Not till Christmas morning! Snoople, jeepers, creepers. Hey, look, there's our school! Maybe they're giving us a ride there. Probably, they're probably saying you're gonna be late. The reindeer know we have to go to school. <laughs> hey, thanks, Rudolph! See you at Christmas! I cannot believe that I got a ride to school today from Santa's reindeer. That was pretty amazing. I agree. Now, come on, let's get into class. Well, look who decided to show up. Merry Christmas, everybody! Well, it's not Christmas yet, but... Brookie, are you okay? I had a little accident with the Christmas lights. <laughs> Brookie! <laughs> what happened? I was trying to put them up on the Christmas tree, and I got a little tangled up, and um, I, I can't get out. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you, but... <laughs> Molly! Okay, let's settle down. I know everyone's excited for Christmas, me included, but we still have to get some work done. Work, schmirk! Let's go eat cupcakes and celebrate! Whee! I knew feeding little pancakes with syrup was a bad idea. Too much sugar. Is anyone going to help me untangle from these lights? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as soon as I stopped laughing. <laughs> oh, I laughed so much I hiccuped. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll just stay this way. You look very festive. All right, Molly. Enough is enough. I'd hate to have to give you detention right before Christmas. <gasps> you wouldn't dare! You'd end up on Santa's naughty list and you know it. Wow. Look at it outside. It's looking like it's gonna, well, snow. Really? Oh my gosh, I hope so. Early dismiss. So early dismiss. So come on, everybody, say it with me. Early dismiss. So. Really? You're on board with this, Daisy? Of course I am. It's almost Christmas. Who wants to be in a classroom when there's presents to wrap and gingerbread cookies to bake and, 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 I don't know, just lots of other cool Christmas stuff. <laughs> well, if it snows, I'm going to be the first one on the bus. Well, we'll have to see if it's enough. If it's just a dusting, no one goes home. Now, everybody take out that homework assignment and let's get started. Ugh. I might fall asleep. Okay, Molly, since you have your paper out first, why don't you come up to the front of the class? Where is everybody? Ugh, oh, it seems that the stomach bug's been going around. Man, I hope it doesn't ruin their Christmas. Me too, but the three of you are here, so let's continue with class. Okay, fine. Would you like to read your paper out loud? Not really. Would you like detention? Uh, not, also not really. Then read your paper out loud. Okay. What I would do to help others at Christmas by, well, Molly. <laughs> I would help people by um, shoveling their sidewalks, especially the old people that are like the Crib Keeper who can't shovel for themselves. Snow can be really heavy and, well, unless you're young enough, you can't lift it and you'll hurt your back and stuff. Wow, and stuff, huh? Wow, you can come up with any other words right there, Molly? Remember we talked about saying and stuff? Okay, look, I did my best. I was thinking about Christmas presents and, and I wasn't thinking about helping others. <laughs> Sorry. 
Molly, we should all try to help others at Christmas and all the time, but especially at Christmas. I know, and I mean it. If we get a big snowstorm, I will help whoever needs help out of the snowstorm. Wow, well, that sounds like a great idea, Molly. That would be very, very helpful. Okay, well, leave your paper on my desk and I'll grade it. All right, I better get an A+, plus, or you're going on Santa's naughty list. Okay, Brookie, you're next. Well, I'd love to read my paper, but look at all the snow. Whoa, that's a ton of snow. Excuse me, may I have your attention, please? Oh, it's the principal. Here he comes. Early dismissal, early dismissal. Would uh, the lunch lady bring me an extra hot dog? I'm extra hungry today. Seriously, look at all this snow and all you can think about is hot dogs? And also a package of chips. Those things are delicious. The barbecue kind, please. Oh, and yes, um, students, students. Here he comes, early dismissal. You guys will be leaving class in 30 minutes for an early dismissal. Early dismissal, oh yeah. Attention, no, teachers, you have to stay till 3 o'clock. Seriously? Oh. Guys, stop dancing. What? Why, Molly? We're having so much fun. We're getting out early. I'm going to bake gingerbread cookies. But guys, it's it's sleeting out, and the snow is coming down in buckets. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get home. What if we're trapped at school? Don't be ridiculous. The school buses are like snow machines. Yeah, that's it. They can go through any weather. Um, okay. I hope the school bus is here soon. <gasps> here it comes, guys. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wow. It looks like the school bus is sliding all over. Are you guys going to ever stop dancing? I'm so happy it's early dismissal. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. Wow, it's like a winter wonderland out here. Holy guacamole. I'm right before Christmas, too. That's always the best to have a white Christmas. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones... Hey, kid. Get in the bus. Okay, fine. You interrupted my Christmas music. Okay, well, do you want to get home in this century? Or do you want to be stuck at your school forever? Come on. The, the weather's getting really bad. Okay. Jeepers. Rude. Oh, wait, I think I'm actually driving the school bus. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, Molly, I don't really trust you to drive the sc school bus and also to sit on the top. What are you doing? I'm trying to get into the seat, but uh, it won't let me. Uh, okay. Now I'm underneath it. Uh, uh, there, finally. Oh, boy, Molly. You really are a troublemaker. Okay, keep your hands to yourselves. No saying mean things. You know the drill. Let's get going. Uh oh, I seem to be stuck in this snowbank. Oh no! Come on, you you can do it. I don't want to be stuck at school. What 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 are we gonna do? Probably lots of homework. I would rather cook gingerbread cookies. Yeah, no kidding. Come on. I'm trying, but we're stuck. Oh no! We're gonna be stuck at the school until this storm is over. No, we aren't. Definitely not. <sighs> okay. I said that if we ever got stuck, I'd, I'd have to help out. I think I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can. Well, I thought I was going to be able to help, but apparently driving this snowplow up onto one of the lights for school wasn't the best idea. Ugh. Now I'm stuck too! Wait a minute, I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. Uh, sort of. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I never learned how to drive a snowplow before. My plow is going the wrong way. Okay, maybe if I go this way and then this way. Oh, the snow is terrible! Molly, what are you doing? Hey, listen to me, Tangled Lights. I know what I'm doing. Molly, don't be rude. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little frustrated because I'm stuck with my snowplow right now. Okay, I think I'm, I'm good. Let's get out the school bus. Maybe. I think. Perhaps. <laughs> yes, I'm out! Finally! Wow, Molly, you're super helpful. I'm going to be as soon as I get over there. Okay. Okay, Mr. Ben, here we go. I'm going to push you. Oh, my. This is crazy. That was a great idea, Molly. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'll meet you guys at home because I got a snowplow. Molly, you can't just steal that snowplow. I'm going to go um, help people out by 
digging them out of this giant snowstorm. The old people need me! Molly, you don't even know how to drive that thing. Get on the bus. Yeah, okay. What will the old people do? Don't worry. Uh, the, the pen dot will help them, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Wait a minute! Okay, I'm on the bus. Oh my gosh, are we ever going to make it home? Holy guacamole! Good thing we don't live that far from the school. Seriously? We probably could have walked, you guys. It was only over the hill. In this much snow? No way, I'd freeze. Okay, everybody! Have fun on your snow blizzard! We will! <laughs> we'll be lucky if, well, basically we have school up again before Christmas, that's for sure. Wow! Mom and Dad put up the Christmas tree! Oh, it's beautiful! Christmas time is here! Bringing lots of cheer! Well, I guess you guys didn't have the same lighting accident that I did. Don't worry, Brookie. I think it's amazing that you look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, very funny, Molly. Hey, can I stay at you guys' house? Because, like, my house is really far away, and I'm pretty sure that the school bus isn't going to make it there. <laughs> yeah, sure. If I can keep laughing. Molly. <laughs> Sorry. Brookie just looks funny. <laughs> this is going to be the best early dismissal ever. Oh, this is so frustrating. Why can't I figure this out? Oh, man. Hey, Molly, what you doing? Trying to fill out a job application. Uh, Molly, you're looking at a video of a hamster. I know, I'm trying to... Oh, okay, there we go. I had to get into my email and get this code because I have to verify on my phone that shoots a beam through the TV. Are you being serious, Molly? Okay, maybe not the beam shooting through the TV, but they make you jump through all sorts of hoops just to fill out a job ap application at Starbrooks. Well, Molly, um, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think you're going to get the job. Wait, what? Yeah, I heard that there was a lot of other people that were more qualified. I'm going to get the job at, uh, at Starbrooks. You wait and see. All right, Molly, if you say so. Well, I have to go get ready because I actually got a job. Wait, what? Yeah, remember how we said we wanted to save up for some new iPhones? Well, I got a job in town. I got a job in town. I'm so perfect because I'm Daisy. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to fill out an application and I'm going to get a job. There. Done. Uh, now I just have to wait to hear back from them. I wonder what's on TV. That doesn't seem very productive, Molly. <laughs> Look at that adorable little puppy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Literally, I could watch this puppy channel all day. Ooh, hospital 911. Hurry, we've got to get this person to the hospital sat. Sat, they've turned into a chicken. What, a chicken? <laughs> That's ridiculous. The new strain of the chicken pox virus has turned the entire town into chickens. Holy guacamole, this is pretty serious. Okay, Molly, I'll see you later. I've got to get going. I've got to pick up some stuff before I go to work. Bye! Well, I'm going to go check my email and see if I heard back from Starbrooks. Dear Molly, congratulations. We'd like to offer you a job, but mostly because everyone else quit. What? So if you would like to come down today and start, then you can have the job. Woohoo! I got a job! I got a job! And I'm going to be serving delicious treats. Now, if I just have a delicious treat myself once in a while, I don't think anybody will mind, right? <laughs> Starbucks coffee. The most delicious treats in all of Brookhaven. Hi, uh, I'm Molly. Oh, hello. Um, so you must be the new hire? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, well, I hope you like to work a lot because we're going to be very busy today. I've got to take some inventory and then take a nap in the back. So expect you to deal with all the customers that come in by yourself. Um, I haven't even trained yet. So don't you think I should train first? You're going to get hands-on uh, explosive training. Explosive training? What's that? <laughs> Ew, did you just fart? Well, you said explosive. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. Never fart inside of Starbucks. It ruins the donuts. Um, okay. Sorry. 
All right. Anyway, what I mean by explosive training is that everybody comes in, you feel like your brain's going to explode. And if it doesn't, you can have the job at the end of the day. Uh, I never heard of that kind of training before, but I am young, so I haven't really had a lot of job experience. So I, I guess I could do this. Good. I'm really tired. I'm going in the back to do inventory and then, you know, take a little snooze. Okay. It was nice meeting you, manager boss person. Oh, well, so far nobody's coming in, so that's pretty good. Oh, no. It's Sarah. Oh, well, I guess I've got to wait on her. Excuse me? Are you working here? Uh, yeah, I am. Well, why aren't you wearing your Starbucks uniform? Oh, rats. I forgot about that. Okay, I gotta go in the back and change. La, 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 la. What are you doing? I have to go to the bathroom and change into my Starbucks uniform. That's better. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm docking you three minutes pay for changing into your uniform on the job. But I didn't get the uniform until I got here. I just started today, you know. I know when you started. Now get back out there. Customers are going to start getting angry. Okay. Where have you been? Well, you didn't like my outfit, so I changed into the Starbucks one. All right, I want a double mocha latte and also a donut. And on the on the latte, I definitely want triple mocha. On the donut, I want gluten-free and I want reduced sugar. Okay, slow down, slow down. I've never done this before. Okay, a double mocha latte with a lot of mocha and what was the donut order? Oh, you're so annoying. The donut order had gluten-free and reduced sugar. Um, okay, I'm not even sure we sell that, but okay, here, here, I think this one. This one should be gluten-free. Mm, it tastes gluten-free. Oh, did you just bite the donut I'm gonna eat? That's disgusting. Get me another. Okay, okay, fine. Um, all right, mm. Mm, pretty good. I'm gonna eat this while I'm waiting. Stop eating that donut. Cheapers. My time is more valuable than yours. Um, okay, um, let me just see, uh, okay, there's one donut left, I, I can, I can take that one. Here you go, here's your donut, gluten-free with reduced sugar. I don't want the one with blueberry frosting. Well, I'm sorry, that's all we have! Are you snapping at the customer? Uh, no, sorry, I'm just a little bit, uh, going crazy with my explosive training. Explosive training, what's that? Never mind, it's something my boss came up with. But anyway, this is the only gluten-free reduced sugar donut we have. Fine, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. And also, here is your um, mocha latte frappuccino thing. Do you even know what you're doing? Not really, but I didn't even get any training. I think my, my manager might be, well, kind of a bad one. Whatever. What seems to be the problem here, Molly? Nothing! I'm doing just fine! Don't fire me, okay? She is terrible! First of all, she brought me a donut and then she took a bite out of it to see if it tasted good. O-M-G! I am so sorry. Your order is on us. Molly, go to timeout. Wait, what? Timeout? I'm not three years old! We have timeout in this company. Go sit in the corner. Really? Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous! I'm gonna go sit over here by the trash can? I'm in time out at my job? Ugh, if you want something done right, I guess you gotta do it yourself. Or, I don't know, train me to do it! You didn't even teach me how to work here yet! That's okay. My other employee's gonna be here any minute, and she's amazing. Oh, sure, I bet she is. Did you train her? No, she's going through explosive training, and she's doing amazing. Hi, Kalen, nice to see you, good morning. Wait a minute, that voice sounds familiar. Daisy? You're the other employee? That's right, I got a job at Starbucks, and it's amazing. Daisy is going to win employee of the month. I just know it. Listen, Glenn, I, I need some training here, and then I could be good at it. Did I say you could get out of timeout? Um, no. Ugh, why didn't I start my own business? Working for somebody else's company is, well, annoying. Yeah, Molly, but you need money to start your own business, so you better start learning to like working for others. Okay, Molly, you can come out of time out. Try to be nice to the customers. I'll definitely be nice. I'll put a smile right on my face. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? Don't listen to her. I'll take your order. Whatever. I'm so late for my hair appointment. Your hair looks beautiful. 
Oh, thank you. I think it looks terrible. Ooh, this one's perfect. You'll love this. I'm telling you. She didn't even place her order. Hmm, you're right. This is good. You're amazing. Daisy, that was supposed to be my customer! Marty, there's no need to fight. We both know I'm better at Starbucks than you. No, you're not! I'm good at Starbucks! Okay, I've got to eat my feelings right now because I'm starving and I feel really sad. So here goes nothing. Mm, those cookies are so good. Excuse me. Are you going to pay for that? How did you see what I was doing? Marty, it's not hard. We can hear you crunching from here to, to China. Oh, sorry. Mm. I don't have any money to pay for it. I thought we got free food at Starbucks. No, Marty, of course we don't. Okay, well, the next customer that comes in is mine. Fine, Marty. Hi, I'm going to be late for my flight if I don't hurry up. I am a stewardess on the plane. Oh, okay. Um, What can I get for you? I will have a hot cocoa with a squirt of coffee in it. And also, I'll take a muffin to go. Okay. Um, uh, uh. Molly, do you even know how to work the hot chocolate machine? I was thinking we should just put, like, one little Hershey bar in uh, a thing of water. Heat up the water and that makes hot chocolate. Molly, we have much higher standards than that at Starbucks. Really? Because I was here last week and that's exactly what they did. That manager, Glenn, did that. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, that's not how cho hot chocolate is made here. What seems to be the problem? Daisy made the hot chocolate wrong. She didn't put one little square of chocolate in in a, in a bunch of hot water like you did for me last week when you waited on me and I ordered hot chocolate and then you overcharged me. What? No, I didn't. You don't call the boss a, a bad employee. That's not your place. You're fired. Wait, what? Yeah, Molly, you heard it. You're fired. But I need this job! I mean, well, not really, but I do want a new iPhone. You're fired? What, did I stutter? No? Okay, fine. I'm out of here. Bye! Bye, Molly! Guess the Starbucks life isn't for you. Guess not. You know what? I'm gonna go get a job as a police officer. That sounds like way more fun. You could eat donuts all day, bust criminals. Yep, sounds like the life for me. La 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 la. Look, nobody's even working. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> no, no one's around, so I think I could just become a police officer and no one would know it. Especially if I have the uniform, which I'm going to have in one second. Um, Ghostbusters, no. Waitress, no. Scientist, no. What the? Okay, there we go. Ah, <laughs> this is the life. First, I do a little crime busting. Then I do a little donut eating. Mmm. So good. So good. Oops. I got crumbs on the keyboard. Whoopsie. Hey, wait a minute. I have an idea. <laughs> it's an evil idea. But it's funny. Da -da 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 -da. I have to go arrest my sister right now. Watch this. <sighs> Boy, Starbucks is really far away when you've eaten a lot of donuts. Oh my goodness, it's a police officer! Wait a minute, Molly? That's right, Officer Molly here. And, um, you're under arrest. What? Why? Because you work way too many hours, and you're perfect at your job. So? So? No one could be that perfect and work that many hours. You must be either a spy or a robot. Neither of which are allowed in the Starbrooks family. You're under arrest. Molly, are you being... Are you serious right now? You're being ridiculous. Oh, I'm serious. I'm very serious. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, can, or will be donut against you. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not right. I was thinking of donuts. What's going on here? You stay over there, Glenn, or you're going to get more than a timeout. Wait, what? Are you a police officer? Yeah, and I was undercover. Well, not really, but I wish I was because you'd be under arrest first. Okay, Daisy, time to go to the slammer. I can't even believe what's happening right now. You do the crime, you do the time. Get in there. Molly, I still just don't understand what this is all about. Sorry, I can't hear you. Eating a Starbucks down at... Mm, that's good. That's really good. Molly, you can't arrest somebody for working hard and doing their job perfectly. Still can't hear you. You see, I'm the police, so I can do what I want. <laughs> Molly, I'm going to talk to your superior. Um, I don't think anybody works here because there's no crime. Except for the crime you committed. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. 
This has been the weirdest first day of my job ever. <laughs> ah, finally a job I'm good at. Relaxing and eating donuts. Hey, Sadie, what's up? Hey, Laura. <laughs> I just got here. <sighs> I'm super tired. I stayed up way too late last night studying for that math test. Yeah, me too. Hey, look, I got a new backpack. Oh, it's adorable, Laura. I love it. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous today. Really? Why? Because, well, um, I have to stand up and do a presentation in English class, and Dan is in that class. Oh, my gosh. Are you still crushing on him? Yeah, totally. He's so cool and dreamy. Yeah, he is pretty cool. Girl, back off. He's my boyfriend. Well, not yet, but someday he's going to be my boyfriend. Whoa, 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 Laura. There's a certain code between friends that you never try to steal someone else's crush. Ah, oh, Sadie, you're my best friend. Thanks so much. No problem. And guess what? I saw Dan going into the music room this morning. You could probably listen to him play guitar. Great idea. See you in math class, Sadie. Bye, BFF. Oh, my gosh. There's Dan. He's so cute. And I said, why don't you love me? Oh, he must be practicing for his band. He's going to play at the school dance. It's going to be amazing. Hey, who's that over there? No one. Oh, my gosh. I'm too embarrassed to tell him I was watching him play. Oh, just hide in the girls' bathroom until class starts. Well, there is the bell. <laughs> Guess I better get to class. Oh, good. Dan's not there anymore. Eventually, I actually have to be brave enough to talk to him. Laura, over here. You can sit by me. So, did you talk to him? No, I chickened out. He's like, who's that over there? And I was like, uh. And then I ran into the girl's bathroom. Laura, I know. I tried to be brave, but it didn't work out. You have to tell him your feelings at some point. Well, you're never going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. But what if he says, um, no, he doesn't want to be my boyfriend? Well, at least you'll know. I'm not sure I want to know the truth. There's Dan. Oh, I have to do this presentation today and I don't want to. Oh. Hey, what's up? Oh, hi, Dan. <laughs> um, I... I sort of finished this um, presentation, sort of not. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I totally did mine. Oh, that's cool. What are you going to do it on? Um, uh, you'll see <laughs> when I get up to give my presentation and stuff. Yeah, are you nervous? I, uh, uh, no. Yeah, I play in my band and stuff, so I'm not really nervous. I get up in front of people and sing and play guitar all the time. Yeah. I know. Oh, <laughs> have you seen one of my shows? Yeah, <laughs> I was in the back. You probably didn't notice me. <laughs> you know, so like if you do get nervous when you're presenting today, you can just imagine everybody like in their underwear. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> it's what I do when I get nervous. <laughs> really? That's so funny. You're hilarious. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I try not to be that funny because, you know, it's not cool. People just laugh at you the entire time. Oh, no, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just, like, laughing with you. Yeah, I, I wouldn't laugh at you. Uh -huh, sure you wouldn't. Sure. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you're kind of funny. Hey, where is everybody? Attention, everyone. Attention. Oh, there's an announcement over the loudspeaker. Maybe they'll tell us that we're having, um, you know, like, worms and sauerkraut for lunch like we normally do. Ew! <laughs> we don't have that! Yeah, well, it tastes like it. Ugh, Sue lunches are so gross. Mrs. Nickenbacher will not be in English class today. She has come down with the flu, and she can't be here. Class is canceled. Woohoo! I don't have to do my presentation in front of you! I mean, in front of the class. Where's the rest of the class? Ugh, they probably got the email and we didn't. Oh, well, it was really nice talking to you. Uh, I feel like we should talk more often. Really? Yeah, I mean, you seem really cool. Oh! <laughs> um, oh, okay, I'm gonna go! Oh, man, I should have said something else. Like, do you want to go to prom with me? Or, I don't know, something. But no, of course I didn't. Now I'm gonna go hide in the janitor's room and... 
sulk about how he said all of the wrong things to my crush. Oh, man. Oh, how can I say those things to him? I should have said something else. I'm so not cool. Oh. I'm just gonna go in the janitor's room and take a nap. Oh, I'm so tired. Hey, what are you doing in here, Laura? Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't know you were gonna be in the janitor's room, Dan. Yeah, I came in here to take a nap. I was out late playing with my band last night and I don't know if you know this, but the janitor has a bunk bed in here. Ugh, our janitor is like lazy. No, he's not. His job's really hard. He needs a nap. Oh, well, I guess so. Scrubbing floors isn't the easiest job. Hey, I was wondering, um... Yeah, I was wondering, um... Um, would you like to... Would you like to go to... Prom? Prom? Oh my gosh! Were we just gonna ask each other to prom at the same time? I think we were. Oh my gosh! I, I definitely will go with you, yes! I'll definitely go with you. You're really pretty and super cool. Aw, thanks! So, um, I'll pick you up tomorrow at, like, 7 o'clock? Sounds good! Wait, do you know where I live? Uh, no. Um, you could write it down or you could just text me. Here, let me put my phone number into your phone. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Done. Thanks. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow night. Bye! Oh my gosh! I finally got the nerve to ask Dan out and he asked me out at the same time! Ah! Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I have to go tell my best friend why is she sitting in math class. Sadie, what are you doing? Uh, Laura, I got detention. Wait, what? Why? Because I accidentally didn't do my homework. Oh, man, Sadie. But we have to go dress shopping. What? Why? Because, get this, Dan asked me to prom. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Okay, I'm really sorry, but I have to skip detention. We have to go dress shopping. Ah! Sadie, come on, we have to go to the mall. Girl, this is the best shop ever. You are gonna look like a rock star, a beautiful princess, the most amazing girl at prom. Now come on, we have a lot of work to do. We have to make you look amazing. Thanks, Sadie, you're my best friend. What about this one, Sadie? No, definitely not. What about this one? Ooh, that's a strong contender, but let's see what else they have. Grunge look? Are you kidding me, girl? You're not wearing that to prom. Pajama party prom? Laura, now you're just messing with me. Get serious. Prom is less than 24 hours away. Hurry! How about this one? O-M-G. That one's perfect. Yes to the dress. Great. Now I just need to do my hair and makeup. Don't worry, Laura. We're going to make you look perfect. Oh my gosh, Laura. You look like a movie star. Thanks, Sadie. The makeover you gave me is perfect. Ah, I feel like a princess. Ah, I can't wait till Dan gets here. I better go outside and wait for him. I don't know what car he's going to be driving. Or maybe we'll be on his bicycle. I don't know. Does he even own a car? Who is that? Laura, will you go to prom with me? Never mind, I already asked you. But still, I brought you all these flowers. Oh my gosh, Dan! A limo and flowers? Oh, this is amazing! Well, anything for you. You're so beautiful. Aw, thank you. Your dress is gorgeous and your hair and your makeup and... Wow, you look really handsome too. Well, are you ready to go to prom? Yeah, totally. Okay, let's get inside the vehicle, boys and girls. We're coming. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to sit in the same seat as you. So, um, I know this is just the beginning of our date, but I'm really excited to spend prom with you. Aw, I'm really excited to spend prom with you too, Dan. You're really funny and sweet and, well, cute. Yeah, I think you're the exact same and smart too. Aw, thank you. Okay, everybody, let's get you to prom. <laughs> it's going to be an awesome night. Our limo driver's like a little crazy. Yeah, he totally seems it. Oh, man, I took a wrong turn into this subdivision. Oh, I could just back up over here and we should be just fine. Um, okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Not that we needed to know. Yeah, like I said, the limo driver's kind of crazy, but... 
the night is going to be perfect. Dan? Dan? What, what happened? Dan? Oh my god, where's Dan? Oh, my arm. Oh my, I don't think I can even get out. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Dan? Dan? Ah! Dan! Hi. I'm a limo driver, yeah, and I crashed. I think I got a bonk on my head. I feel like I did. And then the, the girl seems fine, but the guy that I was driving, he's not. He's laying on the ground. Dan, can you hear me? Dan! Okay, I know how to do CPR. They taught us this in gym class, so I'm definitely an expert. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Oh my god, I don't remember how to do this. I can do it. I can do it. Yes, I can. I have to. I have to save Dan. Oh, Dan. Don't die, please. <laughs> we were supposed to have the best prom ever, and I, I'm sort of falling in love with you, so you can't die. Yeah, the paramedics are arriving now. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <sighs> Dan, come on. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, I'm assessing the situation, and it looks like we have two okay people, but I'll have to look them over, and one down on the ground. Ma'am? 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 I'm here to help. Ma'am? Can't stop giving CPR to my prom date. He'll die! Ma'am, um, let me check his pulse, okay? Okay. Everything's gonna be okay, ma'am. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine! Just help my boyfriend! Okay, let me take a look. Oh... I'm so sorry, but it it looks like he died on impact. What? No! This was supposed to be my dream prom, and, and I love this guy, and he died on our prom night! <laughs> okay, let's just get everyone to the hospital. Come on. I can't believe this is happening to me. Oh my gosh, hyperventilating. <laughs> okay, Laura, I need you to stay calm. I don't want you to faint, okay? Everything's going to be fine. This is a bad nightmare. This can't be happening. Dan, wake up. You can't be dead. Seriously, we were going to dance a slow dance and kiss our first kiss. You can't be dead. Your life cannot be over. It's too short. Okay, dear. We're going to have to ask you to leave. Well, I'm sure he's not dead. You guys just made a mistake. No, no. He's really dead. Dead, dead. Dead, deader than dead. Really? Are you seriously a doctor? I don't even believe you. Okay, you're definitely going to need some counseling after this, but I'm very sorry. Your prom date has died. Huh. Oh my gosh. This has been the worst day of my life. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters who both wanted to adopt babies. There was Laura, who was always happy, and there was Dora, who was always always grumpy. The two of them wanted more than anything to adopt a baby of their own. And this is their story. I cannot wait to adopt a baby. This is going to be amazing, Dora. You won't be a better mom than I am, Laura. I'm going to be an amazing mom. I'm going to be an amazing mom too, Dora. No, because I'm popular and you're not. Well, what does being popular have to do with anything? I have been popular since high school, and it's going to mean that I'm super good at being a mom. Uh, Doria, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Well, we'll just see who the better mom is, okay? Okay, Dora, if you really want to. La, 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 la. Oh, hello, new clients. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my twin, Dora. Whoa, you guys look so much alike. I don't think we look alike at all. Really? You both have blonde hair. I mean, your faces look almost identical. Well, sort of. I have the pretty face. You mean you have the grumpy face, Dora. What did you say, Laura? Nothing, Dora. Oh, you guys even act like twins. What can I do for you today? We're both here to adopt. Oh, well, that's great news. Well, but there's some bad news, too. What? Bad news? What? Um, we only have one child left to adopt. Okay, well, it'll be mine then. Oh, <laughs> well, there's two of you and there's only one child. 
Well, Laura didn't want to be a mom that much anyway. What? Yes, I did, Dora. Don't say that. Well, why don't you guys meet the child and maybe she'll help you decide who should be her mom. Great idea. Let's meet her. Ooh, it's the toy hippo. I love that. Hi, hippo. Hi, hippo. Oh, you're so cute. You're my favorite. Even if it does look like you're eating my hand. Ah, stop eating my hand. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Whoa. <laughs> you have a lot of personality, don't you? Who are you? I'm you. I'm Dora. I'm going to be your mom. Wait, what? Dora, she she doesn't even know us yet. Don't say you're going to be her mom yet. She, she, she'll get scared. What? Are, are you guys here to adopt me? Um, Molly, they're just here to meet you right now, honey. Um, but there's two of them and only one of you. Uh, yeah, I see that. So, so what's going on? Brittany, I, I don't like this. It, it's making me scared. I want to stay here with you, Brittany. Oh, Molly, you know you can't stay at the adoption center forever. Don't you want a mommy of your own? I want you to be my mommy. Oh, that's so sweet, Molly, but I just work here. You should see if you like Laura or Dora. You could choose which one you want to be your mom. Okay, I'll try it, Brittany. Okay, listen up. If you're going to be my mom. Whoa, this kid has an attitude. We're going to have to take care of that. Well, she's probably just scared, Dora. You gotta be my mom. You gotta be nice. You gotta give me ice cream. And you and you gotta change my diapers. What? You're not potty trained? You can already talk. Why aren't you potty trained? Okay, you don't have to do that. I am potty trained. I was sort of wanting a baby. You're kind of grown up for me. Okay, well, I guess I can't choose a mom then because you don't want to be my mom. I could be your mom. I have a better idea. Why don't we each take her home and spend a day with her? And whoever she likes best, she can choose as her mom. Actually, Dora, that's a great idea. You think so? You're totally going to lose. Ah, <sighs> Dora, it's not really a competition. It's just to see who's the best mom for this little girl. What's your name? My name's Molly. Well, I'm Laura. But hopefully someday you'll call me mom. I'm Dora. You can call me Dora. Okay, Dora. I'll call you Dora. Well, who is going to take Molly home first? I'll take Molly. I always go first because I'm amazing. Now leave that silly hippo here. I don't want to leave hippo here. Actually, she can take hippo with her. No, she's too old for that toy. Come on. Okay. I guess I don't have to take hippo with me. Goodbye, hippo. You've meant the world to me. Ah! Oh, this is going really well, Dora. I'm sure she's going to choose you. Be quiet, Laura. She likes me, okay? Now, come on. Hurry up. Keep up. I'm trying, but my legs are shorter than yours, Dora. Whatever. That's such a lame excuse. Okay. I have to go shopping, so you can come along with me. Ooh, are we going to go shopping for toys? Not a chance, brat. Why are you calling me brat? Oh, I said that, like, very lovingly. Come on, brat. I don't know if I like her calling me a brat. That's not very nice. Oh, look. <laughs> Everything's on sale. It's just perfect. Ooh, I love that shirt. Um, Dora, could, could I have some new clothes? The orphanage doesn't have many outfits for me. No? What do I look like made of money? I don't have money to buy you clothes and me. And if it comes to you and me, it's definitely going to be me that buys stuff. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go wait outside and get some fresh air. Ooh! A park! And Dora! 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 What? I'm trying to shop and you're being really annoying. What do you want? Um, can we go to the park when you're done? Please, please, please? No, I'm busy. I'm thinking about going to get an ice cream. I'm super hungry. Ooh! Ice cream! My favorite! Come on, brat. Let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Look both ways, doll. You don't want to get hit by a car, do you? Uh, not really. Okay, you can get in my golf cart golf cart you don't have a real car this is a real car it's what the popular people drive around brookhaven whoa doesn't have a seatbelt though that seems kind of dangerous well i didn't think i was gonna have a kid so soon oh there's the ice cream shop oh that looks so delicious i'm gonna get one of every flavor well come on brat can we go to the arcade afterwards please dora please please i haven't been out of the orphanage ever no, sorry. This isn't like your special day out or something. What? No one's even working here? Well, I'll just take what I want then and leave the money. So rude. No one's even working. Mm, this is delicious. 
Uh, Dora, you forgot something. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put sprinkles on my ice cream. Pfft, duh. No, Dora, you forgot about me getting an ice cream. I don't have enough money for both of us to get an ice cream. Oh, are you going to share yours with my me? Absolutely not. Someone else licking your ice cream is the grossest thing ever. Ew. Now come here and sit down and be quiet, brat. Oh, look at the time, Dora. It's time for me to get back to the to the orphanage. Your time is up. What? It's only been two hours. I know, but um, see you later. Brat, come back here. You can't walk on your own. Get back here. I know my way. Oh, my gosh. She was like the worst mom ever. Huh, huh, oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that this is over with. I just want to go see Brittany. Brittany! Molly, how was your day with Dora? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not leaving the orphanage ever! Oh my gosh. I knew this was going to be the case. Molly, I promise I'm not like my sister. She's just evil. Yeah, she is. You're both evil twins. Brittany, don't make me go. Molly, maybe, maybe Laura isn't like Dora. Can you just give her an hour or two to try it out? I don't know. Your twin is evil! I know she is. She's so a brat. But I promise, Molly, I'm not like that. Um, okay. I guess I'll go with you. But only for an hour! Wow, an hour? That's a pretty tall order to have me show you that I'm going to be a great mom in an hour. But here goes nothing. Hmm. When I was little, I loved going to the park and swinging on the swings. Do you like to do that? I don't know. I've never been to the park before. I live in an orphanage. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. Come on. I'll show you how. You still know how to swing on a swing even though you're a grown up? Of course I do. I still have fun, you know. Whoa! Laura, this is so much fun! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting dizzy. It's best to get off if you get dizzy, Molly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow, the swing hit me! Ah! Oh, Molly, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry you you got hurt on the swing. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Do you need a Band-Aid? No, I'm okay. Thanks for asking, though. Aw, it's okay. So, um, do you, um, need anything? What do you mean? Like, um, maybe some lunch? Ooh, lunch would be great. Or, or dinner, since it's getting kind of late. Yeah, I guess your time with Dora did take a lot of time up during the day, huh? It is time for dinner. Let's go to the Brooks Diner. Ooh, I always wanted to eat there. Look both ways, brat. What? What'd you say? Oh, that's what Dora said. Look both ways, brat. She called you a brat? Yeah. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry you had to, to go through that. Everything's going to be okay now, though. You seem really nice. You seem really nice, too. What are you going to order? I don't know. I just miss my hippo. Well, good thing I brought him along. <gasps> you brought my hippo? Oh my gosh, thanks so much. You shouldn't have to live without your stuffed animal. That's just mean. How's burger and fries sound? Delicious. Mmm, this is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love this diner. It's my new favorite place to eat. I mean, I've only ever ate at the orphanage before, but mmm, this is really good. I have to agree, it is pretty delicious. Well, what should we do now, Molly? Do you want to go pick out some new clothes? Really? Dora took me there, but she said I couldn't pick out anything. Well, I'm nothing like my evil twin sister. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, Molly. The hour's almost up. We have to hurry. We'll have to go on a super fast shopping spree. Look both ways, brat. Come on, Molly. Don't let anyone call you a brat. You're not a brat. But definitely look both ways. Wow, you're taking me to the Rockstar store? That's amazing. Yeah, let's pick out a brand new outfit for you. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Look at this alien outfit. This is so cute. Well, you can buy that if you want, Molly. What else do you like? Um, no, that's too grown up. Um, oh my gosh, this is cute too. And I need new pajamas. Okay, well, we'll take all three of these, please. Okay, let me just package that up for you. I'm going to wear this one, okay, Mom? I mean, Laura, did you just call me Mom? Um, yeah. Oh, my gosh, that makes me so happy. Okay, well, our hour is up. Come on, we have to go, Molly. Okay. 
Back to the orphanage I go. Molly, you're back! How did it go? I see you got a new outfit. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, I had a great time! Of course she did. I knew she'd pick me. I'm the world's best mom. What? No, you're not, Dora! You're a terrible mom! I would never pick you if you were the last person on the planet! What? Don't talk to me like that, you little brat! Don't talk to my daughter that way, evil twin! What? She's not your daughter! Yes, I am! She's my mom! Oh, Molly! You picked a mom? That's amazing! I'm gonna miss you, Brittany. You were like my first mom or my sister or something. But I really like Laura and... And she's going to be my mom forever. Well, all we have to do is fill out the paperwork then. I am so offended right now. Ugh, this is so annoying. You're the worst twin ever. Tell me about it, Dora. You're so evil. Goodbye, Dora. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Does this mean she's my aunt? Well, yeah, technically. But we don't really have to hang out with her very much. Just maybe for an hour on Christmas. Oh, man. Well... If it means you get to be my mom, Laura, I guess I'll have to endure it. I'm so happy that I made a match today. You guys are going to be the perfect mom-daughter team. I think so, too. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks, Brittany! Come on, Mom. Let's go home. Daisy, I'm so excited that we get to spend the day with Grandma. I know, Molly. I'm excited, too. I haven't seen Grandma in a long time, and I missed her. Come on, let's go say hi to her. Grandma! Whoa, Grandma, you look a lot different. Whoa, Grandma, you look kind of chubby. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we don't mean that to be rude, Grandma, but um, your clothes don't fit you anymore. And ew, Grandma, you left your teeth out. Ew, Grandma, that's disgusting. Why aren't you wearing your teeth? Yuck. Hey, you you kind of look different than my grandma. Yeah, my Lizzie does look different. Um, are you really my grandma? No, I'm not your grandma. Ah, this is not our grandma, Daisy. Run! Molly, wait for me. Oh, my gosh. This evil grandma, she's not our real grandma, Daisy. Molly, I guess that. <laughs> yeah, but the bad part is, Daisy, is that we have to try to jump over all these obstacles she's left for us. Whoa. Oh, Daisy already died. <laughs> Molly, you're not very good at this game. Ah, get me out of this room. I'm back with grandma. Daisy, where are you? Daisy, wait for me. How rude. Molly, hurry up. Oh, no, I died again. Molly, use the power of the unicorn. We have to get away from Grandma. Okay, Daisy, I will. I'm still dead, though. Give me a second. Okay. Power of the unicorn. Good job, Molly. You almost made it. Good job. Thanks, Daisy. Oh, these traps that Grandma left are hard. Ew, Molly. Her teeth is underground with a puddle of drool. Oh, my gosh. Ew. <laughs> I'm standing on the drool and I'm not dying. That was weird. Molly, hop like me. Hop, 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 hop. You're good at this game, Daisy. Ah! <laughs> I made it. Good job, Molly. Ah, Grandma's in this room. Get out, Daisy, get out. Molly, she baked us cookies. Mm. Come this way, Daisy. Oh, wait, you can't go this way, Daisy. You've got to go over the cookies. Oh, look, a fan is in here. Are you trying to escape my grandma, too? Hi. Nice to see you. Okay, I'm going to say hi to her. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wrong one. Daisy, you can say hi, too, if you want. Okay, Molly, I'll say hi. Her name's Pink Balloon. Ah, I drowned in the, I drowned in the hot cocoa. Oh, no. Molly, are you really sleepy or something? Uh-oh, wrong room. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of tired today. Whoa, why did I start at the beginning? 
What's going on? Daisy, wait for me. I will, Molly. Okay, Power of the Unicorn. I need your help. I have to get I have to get caught up to Daisy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Doing really good. Doing really good. I'm coming, Daisy. I'm coming. Molly, hope we up. Okay, I have to jump over these teeth. Ew. There you are, Daisy. Okay, now I gotta jump on these cookies. Mmm, these cookies are making me hungry. Boing, boing, boing. Whoa, I almost didn't make it. But you did, Molly. That's what's important. Yeah, Daisy. I wonder how we're ever going to make it out of here. I don't know, Molly. Okay, Daisy. Come on. Let's go. Molly, look. There's a cat on the wall. I think that cat is really cute, actually. He's kind of got cross eyes. <laughs> Molly, let's see how we get out of here. Um... I'm thinking that we have to jump through this cat photo. Really, Molly? Yeah, Daisy, you try it first. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't understand. Click on it, Molly. Okay, thanks, Daisy. <laughs> I made it. Okay, Molly, now we'll. I don't know. You lead the way, Daisy. Molly, you're gonna let me get um you're gonna let me get caught by grandma? Yeah, why not? <laughs> That's what sisters are for. Which way? This way looks good, Daisy. Let's go this way. Okay, Molly, follow me. If you need to, Daisy, we can always use the power of the unicorn! Okay, Molly, how to ride it? The bubble of the unicorn with a sparkly horn. Good job, Daisy. Good job. Thanks, Molly. Wow, more cat pictures. Yeah, now we're back in Grandma's room, but Grandma's not here. Good thing. Yeah, Molly, she's probably baking more evil cookies. Now there she is. She's knitting. She knitted a maze, Molly. Hold on, I've got to save. I've got to save. Okay, Molly, hurry up. Boing, boing. Oh, no, I died, I died. Molly, seriously, stop dying. We're never going to get out of Grandma's house. Come on, Molly, you can do it. Oh, no, I can't, Daisy, I died. <laughs> Molly, this, um, this, uh, maze that Grandma made out of, um, out of being knitting is really hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard, but I'm just going to take my time. And the unicorn will help me! Molly, you have the same power of the unicorn. Yeah, you're right, Daisy. I forgot that. Okay. Power of the unicorn with her sparkly horn. Hopefully she's not eating your homework. I died again! Molly, I'm leaving you. Goodbye. Daisy, you better not. That is so mean. Daisy, come back here. Okay, Molly, fine. I'll give you one more chance. But then Grandma's going to get me. Daisy, do not leave this sister behind. Molly, you made a good job. Phew, that one was hard. <laughs> I jumped into the edge. Now I'm okay. Come on, Daisy. Boing, boing. Oh, no, Daisy, you died. Poor Daisy. No, oh, come on, Daisy. You got this. How do I get up here? You have to jump really high. I don't get it. Double jump, Molly. Okay, I double jumped. Now I'm going to jump on this chair. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, Molly, enough of that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, good idea, Daisy. Whoa, saw blades! Oh my gosh, one of our fans is asking, is this a video? Um, I'm going to respond to her, okay? Give me one second, guys. Molly, hurry up! Grandma's going to get us. I know, but it's a fan, Daisy. <laughs> She'll probably come with us now and escape Grandma. Okay, Molly. Wow, I made it! Yes! Whoa! 
Okay, Molly, now jump over this one. I'm coming, Daisy. Yes, I made it. Me too, Molly. Now jump over this one. Phew, I made it. Yeah, we both did, Molly. Now walk to these blades very carefully. Ugh, I'm so glad I'm past that part. Now where are we? Just an empty room. Come on, Molly. Whoa, crazy! Okay, I gotta save. Molly, you go first. Me first? Why me first? Because, Molly, there's all this molten lava and I don't want to go first. <laughs> okay, fine, Daisy. Ah! See, Molly, that's why I didn't want to go first. You melted. Oh my gosh, I'm standing on Grandma's teeth. Daisy, I'm standing on Grandma's teeth. Molly, hurry up. Daisy, you take Roblox so seriously. Seriously, chill. It's fine. No! Molly, you need to take this more seriously because we're never going to get out of Grandma's house if you don't. Yeah, true. Okay. I'll use the power of the unicorn. Here I go. Good job, Molly. You can do this. You can do it, Molly. Go for it. Power of the unicorn. This time I'm going to get it. I just know it. Boing, boing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jumping on the cat photo. Yeah. Go, Molly. Go, Molly. Go, Molly. Go. Daisy, that was awesome. I can't believe I actually did it. I know, Molly. Great job. Okay, Daisy, now we're just going to go through the next part. I know, Molly, hopefully um, nobody tries to get us. <laughs> okay, Daisy, this one doesn't look too hard. I don't know, our friend just died. Why was Grandma playing paintball? <laughs> Molly, that's funny. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, I'm jumping around too. Boing, boing. Hi. Okay, Daisy, come on. You can come with us too, Balloon. Oh, Molly, you! Okay, Grandma has very interesting taste for breakfast, I must say. Molly, don't step on the stove, you'll burn. Oh, huh, too late, Daisy, couldn't you have said that earlier? Sorry, Molly, it'll be okay to buy again. Okay, Daisy, I'm going to. Grandma cooked somebody in a hot dog. Ew. Oh, my gosh. I died at the end. Really? Yeah, Molly. It's a little tricksy right there. Try again. Ugh. Daisy, this is crazy. I know, but this is fun. To your fans, if you played this game before, let us know in the comments below, okay? Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you like it. We love this game, don't we, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, but I'm better at it than you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're great, Daisy. You just died. You're really proving your point there. You can't step on the spoon. Be nice, Molly. You just died, too. <laughs> you died, too, Molly. Yeah, okay, so. What? Why don't we start back here? Molly, turn around, crazy. Oh, <laughs> Don't jump on the spoon, and then don't jump on the cookies, and don't jump on that. Okay, don't jump on anything. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we made it, Daisy! We're going to escape Grandma soon. Oh, no, Daisy. I'll try this one, you try that one. Go! <laughs> we both died! <laughs> hey, at least we know faster this time. Yeah, Molly, I'll try this one. You try that one. No! <laughs> Daisy, you win. <laughs> Molly, that was awesome. Okay, Daisy, I'll follow you. Now we're Molly. I say all the way to the left. You try uh, the next one over. Okay, Molly, go. <laughs> we both died. Okay, that was wrong. Okay, this one's going to take... At least it'll take less time, though, Daisy. Yeah, Molly, because there's two of us to try the boards instead of one. Okay, you try that one, and I'll try this one. Go. <laughs> Daisy! 
easy! <laughs> I thought you just followed me. Hey, our friend is just following us. She's like, hey, I'll lead the way. Okay, Daisy. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? Marty, chill out. I'm right here. Oh, okay. Okay, Daisy. That was definitely the wrong one. How about this one? Oh, yeah, Daisy. Go this way. Go this way. Okay, I'm going to wait for Daisy for a change. Here comes Daisy. Go, Daisy. Go, Daisy. Go. Go, Daisy. Go, Daisy. Go. Woohoo! Molly, I made it. Great job, Daisy. Oh, Molly, this grandma's gone crazy. Yeah, she really has. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, you died. What are you doing? Daisy can't talk back right now. She's dead. <laughs> Yeah, I made it! Daisy, I'm getting pretty good at this Roblox game. Yeah, Molly, you're kind of beating me now. Okay, ready? Boing. 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 Oh, no! <laughs> Molly? Molly? I'm over here. <laughs> Our friend is saying, Molly, Daisy, you can do it. She's going to be super happy, I bet, when she sees this video on our gaming channel. If you guys haven't subscribed to our gaming channel yet, make sure you do. Me and Daisy play awesome games like this. Yes! No! No, no, no! Ah! Oh, boy, that was close. Okay, I got to go save it. Ding, ding, ding. Come on, Marley. We're almost out. I can feel it. I just feel like this is too easy. I need to take my time. Molly, don't be silly. Yeah, but if you walk off of it, you die, Daisy, and I don't want to die. Ah, like that. See, I didn't take my time, and I died. Ah! Molly, you're so dramatic. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just part of my personality. I'm really glad that um, I saved the game there, though, because then I'd have to jump on the yarn balls again, and I wouldn't want to do that. Molly, stop talking. Who we up. Jeez, Daisy, you're so bossy. Just taking my time so I don't die. Oh, no! Do I have to jump on these pins now? Oh, my goodness. I'm totally going to die here. I better use the power of the unicorn! Here comes my friend. You go first. Go ahead. Don't wait for me. No, seriously. Daisy, what are you doing here? I died, Molly. Okay, okay, that was craziness. Come on, Molly, let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna try. Whoa, almost walked off the edge. Do you guys like my shirt? It says cupcakes, cupcakes. I love cupcakes. And it's the truth, I do love cupcakes. I love chocolate cupcakes the best. I bet this grandma would make me chocolate cupcakes. Ah! Okay, unicorn, stop being lazy and eating my homework. I need your help. Super Molly speed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got pretty good at this part because I've done it a million times now. Okay, here's the hard part. Here I go. <laughs> I died. Oh, no. That was terrible. I got to try again. Power of the unicorn with a sparkly horn. Here I go, guys. This part's not too bad, but when you get to the, the knitting needles part, have you guys got past that? It's really hard. Molly, hold me up. Ah! Jeez, Daisy, I'm trying. I keep dying. It's not my fault. Well, Molly, I made it past that like 10 minutes ago. You're really being slow. I'm sorry, Daisy. I'm trying to go fast, but it's just it's really hard. Boing, 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 ah! <laughs> I made it! Molly, yay, I'm so happy to see you, except for I have bad news. What's that, Daisy? We have to walk on Grandma! Ah! That is horrible news! Daisy, Daisy, w where are you? Ah, it's a, it's a giant Grandma! Oh my gosh, I've got to find my sister Daisy. This is so, so bad. Daisy! 
Miley, you're here! Yeah, Daisy, this was crazy! Yeah, it's even crazier now because we're in Grandma's mouth! What? Ew, I don't want to be in Grandma's mouth! It's so gross! No, no, no! Yes, Miley, I hate to tell you this, but we are! Okay, well, I better come over here and save the game then, so you don't have to do that part over again. Yeah, Molly, you better, because I think we're going to be going down into Grandma's stomach. Okay, Molly, let's do this. Yeah, Daisy, let's do it. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Molly, that was kind of fun. Yeah, except for the fact that we're in Grandma's stomach. I don't know, Molly. I think it's kind of cool. I die, Daisy! Help! Sorry, Molly. Once you die, I can't help you. Well, some kind of sister you are. Grandma's been eating cookies. And heads! Ew! Grandma! Well, I got distracted by the fact that Grandma eats people and stuff. It was kind of gross. <laughs> Molly! I don't know what they she did with my real grandma, but not cool. Not cool. Molly, you're like in mid-air. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. <laughs> you can float in Grandma's tummy. Molly, you're almost there. You're almost there. Yeah, I know, Daisy. I'm coming. Good job, Molly. Let's get out of here. Um. Okay, I'm following you, Daisy. Which way, Daisy? 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 Ha <laughs> ha You came back there to rescue me! And guess what? I went the wrong one. <laughs> Molly, I feel sad for you. Come on! Coming! No! Wrong one, Daisy! Sorry, Molly, I couldn't remember. No need to yell. Right! Right! Left! Right! Ugh, we made it. Molly, where were you? <laughs> I'm hiding between these two bones in Grandma's ribs. Ew, Molly, ew. How is it that I'm standing right here and I'm not dying? I don't know, but I'm happy about it. Molly, why are you jumping around like a maniac? <laughs> oh, no, I just think it's fun. Ah, run, 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 run! No, no, I died. Molly, you have to pause. You can't just run. I know, I just want to get out of here so bad. Run! Yes, I made it! Good job, Molly. Come on. Daisy, have you been playing this game without me? You've gotten really good at it. Okay, Molly, I've made it. I've been playing this game because I wanted to beat you at it. Hey, no fair. No wonder you're so much better at it than me. Well, Molly, you're so good at Roblox usually. I never can beat you. This time I'm going to get past this. I know it. What? What happened? I didn't even and I like totally where am I <laughs> I'm in those boing 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 oh my friend said come on Molly you can do this thanks so much we have the best fans in the world I'm gonna say thank you to her wait How nice was that, guys? We have the nicest fans. I don't know if she saw that. She left. <laughs> she climbed up. Let's see now she can see it. Go ahead. Okay, sorry. I'm climbing on top of you. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa, I'm the only one that survived that first round. Yeah, Molly, I totally died. That part is hard. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be, like, taking forever at this one. Ah! <laughs> what? I didn't even die that 
time. Daisy's like already gone. Why don't you just left me back here? No, Molly, I'm right here. I didn't do it either. Ah! I've got to remember to jump as soon as I get around the corner. But I think if I go all the way to the right, um, I can escape that thing and then jump. No! Oh, no, I didn't go over far enough. Okay, let me try again. Let me try again. You can do this, Molly. Jump! Huh, what? No, no, I jumped. That's not fair. Ugh. Just be patient, Molly. You can, you got this. No, Daisy, I really don't. <laughs> Daisy, did you make it past it? Yeah, Molly, I already did. Okay, well, this calls for the power of the unicorn with a sparkly horn. Oh, man, I keep dying. Okay, unicorn, stop being lazy. Daisy, I might just have to live with Grandma forever. No, Molly, no, I miss you. No, Daisy, I'm, I think I'm going to escape. I'm going to escape. Yeah! Whoa, Molly. Molly, we made it. Hooray. Hooray, Daisy. Hooray. This is so great. Even though I was like a little slow at Roblox today. It's okay, Molly. <laughs> you died at the end, Molly. That's terrible. Whatever, Daisy. Whatever. Wait for me. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Molly, we escaped grandmas. Yeah, never to go there again. I'm going to go super fast. I'm going to go super duper fast. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, you died super fast too, Molly. <laughs> yeah, okay. I died super fast. Oh, you're still super fast. Well, I'm going to go sit over here at the picnic table. Okay, where's all my cupcakes? And where's my real grandma? She'd make me chocolate cupcakes. Yeah, you're right, Molly. She would. Well, Daisy, I guess we could make chocolate cupcakes in real life. Ooh, good idea, Molly. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Toy Hero fans. Thank you so much for watching our video today. Me and Daisy had so much fun. Daisy, where are you going? I'm running really fast. Woo! Well, now you're not. It must have worn off. <laughs> Molly, you silly. Thanks so much for watching today, Toy Hero fans. Yeah, Molly. We had so much fun, didn't we? Yeah, we had so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes games and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to see when we put out new videos. Okay, guys, we love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, man. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Hi. Yes, you're late, Molly. Sit down, please. Back in your seat. Oh, man. Where is everybody? Well, Molly, the other three students are home with a stomach bug. Oh, yuck. But, you know, the stomach bug doesn't sound so bad if you get to miss science class. Uh -huh. I like science class. Uh-huh, you would. Molly, don't be mean to Brookie. I'm not. I'm just teasing her. Okay, Christmas is over. No more slacking. All right, everyone, please take out your homework. Homework? Hom homework? But we just got back from Christmas break. Yeah, like a week ago. Where have you been, Molly? Um, she's been here. Well, sort of. Physically, she's here. Mentally, she's somewhere else. <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. Okay, Molly. Well, I guess you're going to be sitting with me in detention again. You do know that I have a life, Molly, and I don't want to sit in detention with you all the time, right? Oh, come on. Don't make me have Mr. Don't make... I can't even talk. I'm so frazzled. Don't make me have detention, please. Please, please. They should have a, a seat engraved with your name on it in detention, Molly. Molly's detention seat. I could see it now. It could be written right here on the back of your seat. Very funny, Daisy. Okay, well, Molly, if you don't have your homework, then take out a piece of paper and start writing these uh, answers down so you can study from them. Okay. Hey, Daisy, can I borrow a piece of paper? Ay, yeah, yeah, fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready with my pen and paper. 
I don't understand why Molly never does her homework. I know, Daisy, right? Like, she's just gonna end up with attention. What is she thinking? I wonder that myself every day. Okay, so as we can see from your science book, page 105, the answer to number three is C. Can anyone tell me why? Molly? <laughs> Surprise, surprise, Molly's taking a nap again. Okay, Daisy. Oh, there's the bell. Okay, class is dismissed. <laughs> you guys know we have a short class today because we're going to have an assembly later, right? Oh, boy, an assembly. Should we just leave Molly here? Yeah, she'll wake up eventually. Maybe some, like, smarts will go into her brain through osmosis. <laughs> Good luck with that. Molly, Molly, wake up. It's no use, Daisy. She's not going to wake up. I have an idea to find out what Molly's actually thinking. You do? Hmm. I don't know about this. <laughs> what do you mean? My science experiments, experiments are amazing, Bookie. Remember the last time you made that huge explosion? Yeah, but that's not... I mean, I've come a long way as a scientist since then. Even if I am still an amateur. Okay, I guess I'll go along with it. Perfect, because the teacher went to the faculty room, which means we have his science room all to ourselves. <laughs> okay, that sounded a little creepy. Oh boy, Molly, you have no idea what you're in for. Are you sure about this, Daisy? The potion is prepared. All we have to do is each drink half of this bottle of the potion. We will shrink down and we can go inside Molly's head. Finally figure out why she acts so crazy all the time. Oh, I don't know about this. It sounds sort of crazy and dangerous. Hey, you're supposed to be one of my best friends, Bookie. Do you trust me or not? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Click, 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 click. I don't feel anything yet. I'm sure I will in a minute, though. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, I feel strange. I'm shrinking. <laughs> it's working. I'm shrinking, too, I think. Or am I getting bigger? I'm not sure. Nope. Definitely shrinking. She really does have a giant head. Yeah, let's just see if there's actually anything in it. Whoa, look at this, Brookie. It's Brookhaven, but everything's made of candy. Oh, this just figures Molly would love something like this. A car made out of candy and, and cotton candy. Houses made out of every candy you could imagine. Lollipops, M&Ms, mm, gingerbread, too. Mmm, Molly has some delicious things going on in her brain. Look at those! Peppermint... Wait, what? What's that? Is that a... Is that what I... I think it's a... It's what I think it is, isn't it? It's a zombie! There's tons of zombies everywhere! Why would Molly have zombies in her brain? Probably because she didn't want anyone to actually steal any of her candy. <sighs> Oh, so she thinks that all the inhabitants of Brookhaven are actually moochie zombies? That's right. That's all she really thinks of us is somebody who steals her candy. Well, we shouldn't just assume that. We don't know. Mm, delicious. Do you think that it'll cause some sort of, well, brain fart if we eat some of the candy in Molly's brain? Nah, I'm sure Molly will be just fine. <laughs> Ow! 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 What's happening? What was that? I think we can hear when Molly snores or when she talks. Whoa! Weird. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't eat too much of the candy. We don't want to accidentally eat her last brain cell. <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> I'm in Molly's brain. Um, no, you are a figment of her imagination. We're in Molly's brain. There's a big difference. This is all very confusing. Okay, well, let's head out. 
over to s some of the other places in town and see what else Molly's thinking about. Besides the fact that she thinks we're all zombies trying to steal her candy. Ah, the pool is made out of hot cocoa. <laughs> Wee! I have to admit, Molly's brain is kind of fun. Ooh. <laughs> but still, we're trying to find out the answers of why she never does her homework. What can we find? There's got to be some reason for this. Wow. <laughs> Lots of people are really bad drivers in Molly's mind. That figures. Hey, is that Luke in the ice cream shop? Wait, Luke is in Molly's mind? Are you serious? Maybe she has a crush on him. Don't be ridiculous. I'm sure she doesn't. Let's go find out why he's here, though. Oh, hi, hi Daisy. Hi, hi, Brookie. Hi, Luke. What are you doing in Molly's mind? Oh, <laughs> we're going on a date today. We're meeting at the ice cream shop. <laughs> That's where I am, the ice cream shop. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Molly's just so beautiful and smart and, and funny. What? This can't be true. Molly has a crush on Luke. Well, judging by the fact that Luke is sitting in the ice cream shop in her mind, waiting to have a date with her, I would say yes, most definitely. Luke, do you actually want to date Molly? Or are you just Molly's imagination? I'm not really sure what I am, but all I know is I'm supposed to meet Molly here for a date. It is Molly that wants the date. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yuck! Molly is in love with Luke. Ew, gross! Really? You think it's kind of gross? I thought maybe they'd be kind of a cute couple. Ugh, yucky! Let's head over to the school and see what's going on in there because obviously Molly has problems with school. If you see Molly, tell her I love her. She's amazing. Aha, uh -huh, sure. Get a job! Wow, harsh, Daisy. Well, he's going to need to buy lots of candy and flowers for Molly. What's this? Uh, a science class? Actually, no, I, I'm not sure if it's our science class. It, it looks kind of, well, very different. Yeah, it totally does. And where's our teacher? The principal has locked everyone inside the school. And I'm Mrs. Crazy. <laughs> Well, now we know what Molly's afraid of, and we know what Molly has been thinking about with school. Absolutely. Lava on the floor? Oh my gosh, Molly, how could you put us through this? Brookie? Brookie! Ah! I'm burning in the lava! Ow! Molly, your mind is so cruel! Me too! Ouch! Oh my gosh, are we gonna survive this? Oh good, if we die inside Molly's mind, we don't have actually die outside of it, I hope. I hope not, because I've already died twice! I'm gonna be a zombie. I just know it. Don't freak out, Daisy. We ha we have to keep calm. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, Molly's brain is just a maze of scary. You got this, Daisy. Thanks, Pookie. You really are a great friend. The cafeteria is falling apart. Oh my gosh, this would be da Molly's worst nightmare, Daisy. I mean, she would hate it if all the food went to waste. <laughs> yes, is that the truth? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> huh, what? Is science class over? Oh my gosh, I think she's actually waking up. I know, I heard that too. Okay, um, well, we gotta escape really quickly. This is a never-ending maze. What are we gonna do? Maybe we should go back the way we came. Do you know the way out? Um, not really. Oh no, I think we're doomed. No, I think we can just follow the donut crumbs. I mean, pfft, Molly surely has left those. Good idea. Let's turn around, backtrack, and get out of this school before it's too late. Where are we, Bookie? Well, at least we're not in that scary school anymore with Mrs. Crazy. Yeah, but it's like we're not anywhere we've been before. It looks like a pet store? Well, we don't have one of those in Brookhaven, so I guess Molly made up one in her mind. Oh my gosh, look at all the animals! This must be Molly's happy place. Except for the snakes, avoiding the snakes! Aw, oh, look at the little turtles! Aw, oh, it looks like it's Molly's dream to own her own pet. Oh, that's so sweet. I guess my sister has a lot of reasons why she's not paying attention in school. She's thinking about candy and zombies and boyfriends and scary schools and... Wow, there's a lot going on in her brain. Huh? <sighs> Is science class over? 
Look, Molly's about to wake up. Come on, Daisy, we have to go out of there. Out of her brain, right now, I mean. Good idea, Bookie. I don't know what will happen if she wakes up. She might actually know we're in here. That would be very bad. Come on, let's get out of here. Holy guacamole, that was crazy. Adele, right? Wait a minute, Daisy, you're still really small. What happened? What? Oh my gosh, I've shrunk forever. OMG, this isn't good, Daisy. This isn't good at all. Hey, wh what's going on? Daisy, why are you so tiny? Hey guys, what's up? Today, Daisy and I are playing Pancake Run. Molly, you're going to be great at this game because you're such a pig. <laughs> that is rude, Daisy. Seriously, are you calling me a pig right now? Yeah, you just want to eat everything ever that you ever see in the entire world. Well, she sort of has a point there. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to eat is some pancakes. And then we're going to just like, <laughs> we're going to pile bananas on them. Oh, yeah. This looks delicious. Oh, yeah, I can eat this all in one bite. You don't believe me? What? You guys totally should believe me because I would. I believe her because I've seen her do it. <laughs> do I have to carry these upstairs? Oh, look at Molly. Oh, you almost made it to the person's mouth. Well, that's a good thing because I'd rather eat it than give it to that other person. I mean, why did I make these delicious pancakes if I'm going to give them away? Okay, it's my turn now. And, um, oops, I forgot a banana. Oh, you stink! Thanks for the vote of confidence, Molly. OMG! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my pancakes into the water. That would be tragic. Yay! Look at... Oh! Oh, oh man, I didn't do as good as you. Of course you didn't, Daisy. I'm amazing at eating. <laughs> I think about it all day long. Even when I'm at school, I'm like, Is it lunch yet? Is it lunch yet? Is it lunch yet? Is it lunch yet? Okay, Molly, come on. Make your pancakes and let's go. Wow, there's saw blades on that one. Oh, I lost my stack. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Oh, no. I failed the level. Oh, wee, 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 wee. Ha, 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 Molly. Oh, man, I didn't lose my stack that time, though. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, uh, whoa. That time I actually made it. Yeah, I can't believe you actually dropped your pancakes. This level is so much harder than the first one. Of course it is, duh. It's level three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't do too bad on that one, even though I needed two chances. My turn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a lot of walls on this one. Do we get to have anything besides um banana pancakes? Because I also like strawberries on mine. Molly, once you've earned enough points, then you can um get other toppings. Oh, wow. Look at this, Daisy. Yeah. Oh, I, I made it. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. Stop asking me to rate your app. Wait, what? I'm getting, I, 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 I'm getting to the point where I'm winning. And then it's like, what do you think of this app? Yeah, they always do that. It's my turn. No, Molly, it's mine. Daisy, you just went. I don't care. I'm going to play again. Well, you can play after my turn. Ooh, sprinkles. I don't know why I avoided the sprinkles. Maybe I was kind of afraid that they might, like, hurt me or something. But next time, I'm going to go right under them. Oh, yeah. I got some sprinkles. Okay, these are the most delicious pancakes ever, I can tell. Yes, I didn't lose any of my stacks. We are level five. We're doing really good, Daisy. I think we are. I mean, we're pretty good at making pancakes. Oh, ah, wait a minute. Wait, I'm going to feed the person. Finally. Here you go. Here's the delicious pancakes. Oh. <laughs> he loved them. Because he loved him. He paid me lots of money. And he is going to come back for more. I know. We make the world's best pancakes. We sure do. Yum, 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 yum. Level complete. And the guy is super happy because he's eating lots of pancakes. Ooh, next level is strawberries. Let's do this, Molly. I'm so prepared. I actually like strawberries better than bananas. Let's go. Whoa, more obstacles this time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I put down the door. What's this? Oh my gosh, there's bombs. No. Oh, good. I missed them. It's hard to go 
I'm down the runway really fast when you have pancakes this tall, but I did it! I didn't lose a single pancake. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I'm gonna feed him. I did so good, I fed him! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Good job, Daisy, you did great! Yum, 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 yum! He loves our pancakes! Well, they got 450 bucks on that one. I'm rich, you know. Well, we might be able to, like, buy something now because we have $2,085. Yeah, let's see if, what you can buy because I want to. Okay, let's go into, okay. Oh, wow, there's more toppings, but you have to get up in levels for that. Um, what else? Oh, skins. Let's go into skins. Um, can we buy any of these things? Unlock random. Okay, I'll unlock a random one. Do 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 which one's it gonna be? Do 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 which one's it is a What is that a tree? Yeah Molly, it's like a piece of a tree. Look there's still leaves. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. That's better than just a plain plate. Oh, you're such a hillbilly daisy. <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Do 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 gonna eat all the pancakes. Do 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 gonna eat all the pancakes. Molly, no, the point of the game is to I failed! Yeah, and the point of the game is also to feed the guy at the end, not yourself. My turn! No, I get a do-over! Well, you get at least one do-over. Look at how the strawberries are cut. They're, like, perfect. Okay, I finally just learned that you actually have to choose the color of the wall. Whoa! Okay, that wasn't even fair. I lost some of my pancakes, and it wasn't even my fault. Okay, see how it's, um... Like, when you go to the wall, you have to pick the color of the wall, that button, or it the wall doesn't open and you die. <laughs> well, you don't die, you just lose a bunch of your pancakes. My turn, my turn! Oh, I'm totally gonna feed the guy because you stink, Molly. Whatever! I'm just distracted because I want to eat all the pancakes myself. <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh-oh. Daisy, you did really bad. Be quiet, Molly, you're distracting me. Okay, I got some sprinkles on my strawberries. Then I I packed on some pancakes, some more pancakes, some more strawberries, some more pancakes, more strawberries, more pancakes. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna bake it. I don't know, Daisy. I don't think so. Oh, I was so close. I'm about to feed him. I'm about to feed him. Sure you are, Molly. Sure you are. All right, guys. I am going to get all the pancakes I need and fruit to feed this guy, right? If you guys think so, slam that like button. Come on, guys. You need to believe in me by slamming that like button. Okay. Um, I put a lot of strawberries and bananas on mine. Yes! And some sprinkles. Come on. Let's feed him. Let's feed him. Let's feed him. Let's feed him. Oh! They should slam the like button for me because I am obviously going to feed him on this next one. Whatever. No, you're not. Yes, I am, Molly. I'm beating you with this game. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You always think you're beating me, but you're not. Molly! Good big and annoying sister, if you can help it. All right, let's see if Daisy can do this. If you guys think she can beat me, slam the like button. Wow, Molly, that didn't sound very encouraging. Yeah, because I don't want you to win. <laughs> Ooh, lots of sprinkles on that one. Whoa! This one is cray-cray! Oh, those bombs, too. Don't hit my pancakes, please! Oh, my gosh, I think you might actually feed the person. I did it, Molly! OMG! Congratulations, Daisy. You actually beat me. I do, Molly. I do. Yup, 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 yup. Look at all that money we got. Guys, if you love this video, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We think you're the best fans in the world. We like making these app games for you. It's really fun. Yeah, guys. If you'd like to see more, let us know, okay? And we'll see you next time. Bye!